bossa nova is one of the coolest uh, grooves you can put into your fingerstyle toolbox. And today we're going to take a look at a whole bunch of examples of how to learn it and then a nice etude with some cool chords in it. So let's start right up and look at your right hand. It's a, basically a dance between, a rhythmic dance between your fingers and your thumb. What we're going to start with is your fingers just on the first three strings and it counts like this. You go one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, four. That four is a longer beat on it, so listen to it a couple times. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, four. And it's pretty easy to count if you leave out some of the ones. One, two, three, and, 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 and three, four. One, two, three, and, 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 and three, four. Okay? Now your thumb is going to toggle between, a lot of times, the root and the fifth, just back and forth. Although with chords that are hard to get to those, you can just stay on one note, just like that. Now the great thing about putting them together, it makes it easier. So let's look at uh, the next one, which is a uh, A minor seventh, just an open A minor seventh. And we're going to talk to it like this. We're going to go one, two, three and four and let's do that again one two three and four and that's the first part of the measure and if you say together fingers thumb and and thumb and and thumb four now i'm going to take my thumb and toggle again and go between the notes together fingers thumb and and thumb and and thumb four together fingers thumb and Here, you just go bum, 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 thumb, 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 and if you work on that for a, quite a while, it'll start to come. So let's go on to the next exercise, and this one is going to add a different chord this time. So we're going to take the A minor 11th, that's going to be 5th fret, 2nd finger, and then followed up 5th fret from the 4th, 3rd, first finger is going to come over to the third fret and then open. This chord we're going to use on the next uh, exercise as well. So learn the whole thing, but we're only going to play the first three strings for this one. And this time we're going to take our second finger and toggle the root fifth by opening just the sixth string like that. better, it gets more relaxed. Now the next exercise, exercise seven, is probably the most important one in the whole lesson. What we're going to do is take that same chord, A minor 11, and now go to the inner strings with your fingers. So it's going to be two, three, and four on those strings. first two bars. The second two bars are going to take the B minor 7 flat 5 you see there. And this time our thumb is going to go down the string to the D string and play the flatted fifth. Here's the hard part. You're going to change before the beat. So if you think about it like this, it goes B minor 7 flat 5 and thumb. takes a little bit of work, but once you put those two patterns together, and then I'm splitting the octave there too at the end. So let me do that two more times and we'll go on. one. You can do that same exact pattern on any bossa nova song and it'll work. Um, the next one we're going to look at adds something in the bass. We're going to go an X 
extra eighth note, a little bounce. And we don't always use this. It's an ornament that goes with the drums and the bass sometimes. And if you do it too much, they'll get mad at you. But we're gonna put that together with this chord. is a D seventh over A. So it kind of shifts almost like a, a suspension there. Listen to them together. Here we go. Now a lot of times I'll use that bouncing pattern only the first time. stays out of the way of the band and keeps the interest going that way as well. But it's a good exercise to learn to do it both ways. Let's move on to uh, exercise nine. This one adds a little ornament at the front. So as you can see, it throws us onto the upbeat right away. We got one and, 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 and there's that long four. One and, So let's put that pattern together. Here's a D minor 9, then we're going to go to a G13, and G7 sharp 5. And here how that G7 once again before your thumb so and so we're ready to take all those different patterns and put them into the etude um, the etude starts with basically a copy of um, number seven and then we do that twice The second part of this is F major 7, F minor 7, E minor 7, and then an A7 sharp 5. So what we're going to do is add the little bounce in the thumb on this. There comes that chord early. Now the E minor 7, same right hand, let me do that a couple times for you. that move ahead of the beat right here put those fingers down before your thumb come and it'll fix a lot of things this one's a little tricky so you want to do it quite a long time before you really get relaxed So once you get used to that kind of playing, just loop every two or three bars or, or phrases and go on to the next part of the song. The next one uh, starts with number nine. That little, uh, but instead of doing two bars of that, it's gonna go right to the G7 section. So here's 13, and then the sharp five. Those happen all in the same bar. on a C major 6 9 and I put that little bounce in the bass but we have to toggle between these two strings now with my second finger and we're also going to add an up beat on the C major 9 so watch this twist between those two coming off on and off but you'll get it and we're going to end by
by going to the C6 and using that uh, that ornament at the beginning. So now that we've seen all the exercises, we'll put them all together. The etude kind of builds from the easiest to the hardest near the end. And I'll play it a little slow and just make sure that you can really hear all the changes in it. Enjoy your lesson.